Well, it's very rare that I'm ever in my studio and not listening to music. Music plays a very important part in part of my, in my drawing and the art activities. And I find that I listen to different types of music. My children usually roll their eyes when they come to visit me and I listen to the music I'm uh, drawing to, but it really is a very strong force in what I do. Now, when I'm working with uh, drawing little characters that I want to have the appearance of being animated, I'm usually listening to early jazz. And a lot of times, too, I'll be thinking about bugs dancing. For some reason, that music makes me feel like dancing bugs. And so uh, as I'm listening to this snappy music, I can just imagine the energy of these bugs dancing, or maybe not necessarily by themselves, but it really helps give me a sense of, all right, let's get that leg up there and then kind of make it look like, oh, he's just going nuts. This music is making him jump up and down. And Okay, and what I'm working on right now is a Bristol paper because I like using when I, I'm drawing with a marker, which is what I have a preference for. I like that really dark, uh, bold line that I start up first with the, uh, using the marker with a nice fine tip and the Bristol paper is very smooth, and so I get a, a nice inner action between the paper and the pen. So we've got one bug there, and let's have another one here that is just, uh, let's go here. And you know, if, if I've been doing this long enough that I don't even bother kind of doing little pencil lines first, but if you feel a little more timid about it, then you could start off doing some pencil. But I kind of like the direct mark that I get when I'm, I'm using the pen without having to worry about using a pencil first. I get more of a energetic line, and that's what I'm looking for, especially when you're dealing with dancing bugs. Okay, so they're hopping all over the place. The other thing they have an advantage of is they can fly, so you could have one that is totally in flight. I like to experiment trying to make the bugs a little bit different. I mean, I could make them the same each time, but this is, this is a mixed group. This is a mixed group, so they're all dancing together. So once I've kind of gotten some of the drawing done, then it's kind of fun to come back in and I can start to color them in uh, with my color pencils. These also work nicely on the Bristol. this one a red bug and then we can have a blue bug so I think you get the idea that you know this the, the music just keeps me maybe going and goes with the energy of the drawing all right if I want to I can get back and maybe they're, they're dancing in the grass so I can real quickly put now the marker is a little more fluid a little thicker line so I can build up some textures and some backgrounds. So then with this kind of being just random tone and color in the background, then it makes the black line really pop out. And so that really helps with that as well. Now for this particular one, I use some gel crayons for more of an iridescent quality in through there. And then I was listening to Cajun music. And so I've got a boudin sausage playing a a uh, Cajun squeeze box, and I've got a little crawfish dancing. I guess my theme today is listening to snappy music and have things dance. And then on the wharf in the bayou, I've got uh, an alligator that's kind of lurking, and Tabasco sauce is flowing into the uh, bayou there with a plate of red beans and rice. So as I'm listening to the Cajun music, I imagine the food, and I make that kind of relationship not only with the music and the food, but also in the way that I draw things. Uh, as far as doing something that's a little bit moodier or you start, I start getting into a feeling in my studio where I want to be a little bit more mellow or just, I just want to play around. I don't want to necessarily have a theme. A lot of times I'll listen to classical music. And so that kind of puts my mind, I find, in kind of a, a more relaxed uh, situation where I start seeing what happens. And so a lot of times instead of using a pointed uh, specific instrument to draw with, like a marker or a pencil, I like using a brush because painting kind of flows and is a little more atmospheric than uh, a mark that you would make with a pencil. It's very specific. Not that painting can't be specific, but uh, we're going to 
to start off with maybe these are some watercolors that are really, really highly pigmented. And so uh, a lot of times I just like kind of putting the brush down and then just see what happens when I, I move it and I'm running out of a little bit of pigment. I like that going from dark to light. And in music, there are a lot of terms that we also use as artists, like the harmony of color and the harmony of music. And uh, music, musicians compose and we compose compositions on visually. You can work with the rhythm and the repetition of things and so that if I'm listening to you know, kind of a nice classical music piece that is flowing around, it's kind of the same type of thing that I'm trying to do with my painting as well. So maybe I will come back with a similar color. And I like picking up on things like that overlap of one transparent color on the other and let that fade out as well. And then maybe on another color, I can start off with a more intense color over on this side. Now it'll be interesting to see if I can get that same feeling for flow because I'm used to doing it the other way. So maybe this color will fade out as it's coming around that way. So I've started off with a, you know, kind of a nice flow rhythm. Um, now let's see what happens if I come back with a little extra paint here, really get my brush charged up and let's just start making kind of some textures in the background. And it's all right, you know, if this doesn't turn out to be uh, the world's most astounding piece of artwork, it doesn't make any difference. I'm experimenting with the color, seeing about playing off maybe something that's a little more textured, a little more brush stroke, and something that is a little more uh, flowing. I can use uh, my gel sticks. So, I mean, you can see that there's just quite a, a few things that I can do. These you can move around. So my life is really enhanced, my studio is enhanced by the music I listen to. And so I find that uh, I can be inspired both by what I'm drawing and painting and listening to the music. So I hope that you can do the same thing with your music and your art.